we will also remind ourselves of one of the greats of this sport. He's on the scoring in this last run. Ten seconds. He could still do it. He's done all the work from halfway through the second round. The time's run out on him. There it is. There it is, and Finnegan has come very close. He's come very, very close indeed. He's done it! He's done it! Finnegan has got the gold medal! Chris Finnegan has won the gold medal at middleweight for Britain. The first British success since 1956. That, though, all to come. In the last couple of weeks, though, Steve, at Sad News Boxing lost one of its great characters. Yeah, he lost a great character, lost a great fighter, lost the 1968 Olympic middleweight champion Chris Finning. And his brother Kevin died in November or October. And Chris passed last week, went into uh, Hillingdon Hospital with pneumonia, died a few weeks later. Just a couple of things. We're going to see a bit of his, of his rematch with Johnny Frankham, a fight that uh, I won't tell you the result, but he ends up having uh, detaching his retina in the fight and can't fight again. But I'm just going to tell you something before we go to the fight, Andy. He won the Olympic gold medal. And less than seven weeks later, with the Olympic gold medal, less than seven weeks later, had his first pro fight without TV behind closed doors. Contrast that with little James DeGaulle or even Amir Khan. Seven weeks after winning gold medal, he's fighting in front of 300 men who weren't allowed to clap in bow ties. What a different world it was back in, 19, in 1968. Different worlds indeed. Well, let's have a look at Chris Finnegan in action. This is his last fight against Johnny Frankham. We pick it up in round 14. You'll never see a better championship than this. Those last two rounds must have put Franken behind now. There wasn't a lot in it. Finnegan has forced himself ahead. And he knows it. Franklin seems to be fighting out of pure instinct. Oh, he staggered! Finnegan! So he still saved something. Frankham puts out the sign, it's not over yet. him again with the right hand. Every punch now sending this Albert Hall crowd delirious with excitement. Finnegan's eye bleeding again. Frankham's found a new lease of life. boxing a very long time in the Albert Hall and I've never heard a night like this 
three minutes to go. The 15 comes up. The pair of them must be glad to see it. The crowd will be sorry to see the end of this fight. It's been a classic. There's no other word for it. Far, far better than their first fight. And certainly fit to rank alongside all the great British championship fights of all time. to go it's a miracle the pair of them are still standing up one of the greatest fights you'll ever see I've got Finnegan slightly ahead very nearly given everything thousand people in this place treated to an exhibition such as you've seldom seen or will ever see again a most remarkable fight Finnegan's eye bleeding halfway through the last round Finnegan still forcing it Frankham supporters at the ringside waving him to come forward. Unbelievably exciting, right to the final bell. Finnegan blinks the blood out of his eye, goes hustling back in. They're just about out on their feet, the pair of them. And still they're making a fight of it. Championship fights don't come any better closing seconds it'll be up to Wally Tom this crowd will explode there it is and he's ignored Franklin and he's gone to Finnegan Finnegan's got the title back what a fight what a return match Franklin walks disconsolately away from everybody else and nobody goes to him he's on his own Everybody is round. Finnegan, Chris Finnegan at 31, regains the British light heavyweight championship that John Conti won from him. The fight of a lifetime. He's never fought better. Put it all in. Puts his tongue out at the cameraman. And he's still got strength to spare to do a little victory jig. What a remarkable fight. What a performance by Finnegan, and don't let's forget Frankham, because he too put on the fight of a lifetime. He fought even better this time than he did the first time, and he has to leave the ring a loser, no title. But surely there's got to be a third fight between these two, if they've got it left in them.